W6 Sugar, Foxtrot, Germany. The Germany station, go. Uh, yes, the Whiskey 6 San Francisco Giants, W6SFT, Bruce in Lynchburg, Virginia. Roger, Bruce. Uh, your uh, signal is uh, like a 12 dB above my noise level on my view meter. I can't give you an actual S meter reading, but uh, uh, I can look at the output of the audio of my radio, and uh, you know, I've got you adjusted for zero level on the view meter, and what's left is noise, and you're about, uh, oh, about 12 to 13 dB above my uh, noise level. Okay, well, that's always uh, an in interesting way of uh, looking at it. Uh, I guess you can uh, look at uh, signal strength or microvolts or uh, whatever. But anyway, I'm um, running a Flex 6400M here and uh, that into a solid state amplifier, about uh, 1400 watts. No, no, it looks like about 400 watts input. Sorry about that. Off center fed dipole at about uh, 70 feet and you're sounding great here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Over. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, I noticed that you might have pulled off, Mike, uh, there a couple of times. Uh, your uh, basic uh, modulation is, uh, you know, you're about uh, 3 dB or so, uh, but uh, when you, if you do pull off, Mike, your signal is going to fluctuate uh, like that there. Uh, I used to run a fairly tight mic with a uh, foam windscreen, Roger, and, and uh, that way your, your consistency is, uh, and looking at a view meter, <laughs> your consistency is uh, a lot better than if you're kind of in space and you're plus and minus back and forth, Roger. Okay. Well, you're kind of preaching to the choir. I've spent 65 years as an audio engineer, <laughs> and you're right, because uh, I'm running pretty close to the mic uh, to eliminate any background noise, and um, I'm sure you don't hear any fans or anything else here in the background. But uh, if I do turn off mic, uh, you're exactly right, and I'm using a large diaphragm, uh, fairly tight cardioid mic here. Roger, Roger. Yeah, it, uh, you know that, that's the thing I found. I I spent 50 years in the in broadcasting, and uh, I did uh, work, uh, you know, uh, uh, fairly tight mic, uh, just uh, out of uh, habit and uh, in contact with the microphone, you know. And obviously, you can't do that unless you do have a, a nice uh, foam windscreen. But the setup here is a uh, uh, homebrew condenser microphone into an Art preamp, which has a 12AX7 tube for warming, then into a third octave equalizer, then up to the uh, tabletop that I have a six position rotary switch to select the uh, radio that I'm going to be running, and a toggle on, toggle off switch, and right beside that is a little audio trim pot. And this is the output of the receiver, and I can, it's uh, like two inches from the uh, the toggle on to toggle off switch and I can just ride your level ups and downs right there, Roger. Okay, Roger. And uh, <laughs> it sounds awfully complicated to me. I've got about $100,000 worth of audio equipment uh, behind me and I have never bothered to hook any of it into the uh, amateur radio. But uh, here's what you're sounding like in Lynchburg. Just ride your level ups and downs right there, Roger. Okay, enough. W6SFG. Roger, thank you so very much. Uh, and what's our signal strength? We're looking for, uh, the reason we, we were on in the mornings at 1030, and all of our 100 watt friends were coming in at about 2 to 3 dB above our noise level. So we wanted better signals. So we thought uh, we would try in the afternoon. Now normally, uh, we're doing uh, up around uh, uh, Montreal, we're doing around a 10 to 15 over. Today we were running a 20. Just curious what we're running your way. Well, you're actually about 20 dB over S9 here, but, uh, you know, we have unusual band conditions this evening. We had a solar storm uh, oh, a few days ago, and when I look across the band, uh, if I didn't know better, I would say we were in the middle of the CQ Worldwide DX contest. I was down frequency working at JA a few minutes ago, and he was about 5 dB over S9. Roger, Roger. Now, uh, I just wonder if you have consulted your ALC meter recently, uh, and if so, uh, are you running a mid-scale to two-thirds, or you got lights on that thing, or how does it fly? Oh, no, I have incandescent bulbs on my uh, meter. <laughs> no, I'm actually running uh, about minus 10 on the ALC. Over. 
Roger, well, your, your audio is, uh, sounds very unprocessed, uh, so you're probably running about 30% uh, peak modulation, whereas if you, uh, you ran that uh, AOC just a tad harder, uh, mid-range uh, to uh, two-thirds, uh, you would be probably running about 65 to 70 percent, and, and then you wouldn't notice that slight pull-off mic. Uh, well, I don't run that much compression. In fact, I'm looking here right now, I'm running about 5 dB of compression. And if I get into the mic like this, that's probably what you want to see. You want to see the higher average level. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know, there's a world of uh, things that happen to our signal when it leaves our station. And although we um, diligently, uh, you know, try to uh, to approximate what we think it's going to be at the far end, a lot of times it's, uh, it's different, you know, because there are other things involved than uh, actually being able to perceive our audio in our earphones. Uh, we do uh, in our recording our QSO vlog, so uh, if you'd like, you could go to our uh, QSO vlog page on YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and uh, that'll take you to our QSO vlog page, and on that page uh, there's one session called uh, My Group Air Check, dated 11-9-18, and uh, that's about an hour and a half long, and, and, and you'll be in there, so you could, you could hear, uh, you know, precisely what, what you're doing, Roger. Okay, well, I've spent a considerable amount of time setting up this radio, and I pretty much know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I actually have a remote, uh, uh, a non-receiver that I can actually listen to the output uh, about 300 miles away uh, on a good day with a solid path of about 20 over 9. Uh, I can listen to this signal, and I can listen to it both off the radio, and at the same time I can monitor an Internet back feed. So pretty much know what it's doing, and uh, uh, unless uh, someone reports that I'm 6 kilohertz wide, I'm running at 2950 right now, and uh, that's pretty much uh, where I stay, and everyone has his own opinion about uh, what's good and what's bad with audio. Uh, you know, I could I, I could sound like the DXers here, and I'll do the DX mode here for you, uh, and if you like that kind of sound, fine, but... You know, I prefer the sound where it's uh, more open. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's go up here. Uh, there should be full bandwidth, 3250. Over. Roger, Roger. Yeah, the, the thing is, though, uh, you know, uh, it, it just depends on the degree of, uh, of um, concentration that you have. It's very difficult to speak and hear at the same time. You may not think that's true, but it is, because your your speech actually gets in the way of your hearing. So when you listen to something recorded, you don't have the distraction of speaking. Roger? Yes, that's why I have a 10-second delay on the Anon receiver, so I can listen to myself, and I can A-B compare with the different settings. So, yep, preaching to the choir on that one, but I appreciate the uh, input. And uh, I gotta go that way, so I'll let you uh, continue on here with some of the other folks, uh, helping them with their audio or whatever. Uh, 73, and uh, have a good day. W6 San Francisco, Germany. Roger, Roger, sir. Three is that way, sir. Thank you uh, for joining us, and uh, if you uh, get a chance, uh, drop by the uh, uh, QSOV like page and. Uh, uh, just double check things. Anyway, uh, thanks for the uh, the QSO, sir. You have a real good evening. This is KC9 VKV. Uh, anybody got a radio? They want to check the audio? Give me a shot.